What's up everybody, Wendell here. Today we're going to show you how to install the Galacticraft mod for Minecraft. Installing Galacticraft is not really difficult, but can be a little bit confusing, so we're going to go through it step by step. I have here over at uh, wendellswinning.wordpress.com a step-by-step -step text instruction for how to install Galacticraft but we're going to go through it step-by-step uh, -step in video form as well. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the regular vanilla Minecraft, uh, preferably versions anywhere from 1.6.1 to 1.7.2. The current version of Minecraft is 1.8, but Galacticraft is not compatible with that yet. If you already have 1.8, I'll show you in a little bit here how to downgrade back to 1.7.2. So the first thing you want to do is come right over here and download and install something called Forge. Click the link here, take you over to the Forge page, and what's going to work best is their latest recommendations right here this line so this is going to run on minecraft version 1.7.1 .1. what you want to do is come over here and click on the installer win takes you to a short little ad fly link do not click here what you want to do is up in the top right corner, skip this ad, and the download will start. Once it gets downloaded, go ahead and click to open the forge. Yes, you want to run it. You're going to install the client. Okay. It'll go through a short installation downloading library. Successfully installed client. Okay. So what Forge is going to do is this program installed correctly. What Forge is going to do is it's kind of a it allows you to mod Minecraft. Um, so we got that. The next thing you want to do is download the actual Galacticraft mods. There's three files you need. I have a link to them here. This mod is actually made by McDoodle and he provides them, he or she provides them free of charge. So again what you want to do is come here to the latest release for Minecraft 1.7.1 is what I found works best. There's three files. This is the McDoodle core, the Galacticraft core, and then a Galacticraft planets add-on. So we're just going to click on all of these to download them. And you're going to click on the big green bar here. Yes, you want to keep it. Your computer may warn you because it's a jar file. But I've tested all of these and they are fine. So that's the McDoodle core. We're going to do the Galacticraft core. Again, hit the green download bar. Keep. And the Galacticraft planets. The McDoodle core is a kind of the basis for this guy McDoodle uh, for all of his, his programs. Galacticraft core is the main Galacticraft modification and Galacticraft planets adds all of the planets in the solar system. So we're going to download the planets. Yes, we want to keep that. We're just going to navigate to where we downloaded them in the folder and keep that for a minute. 
So now that we downloaded them, um, you need to find your .minecraft folder. If you already know where this is, uh, you can just navigate to it. If not, I'll show you how to find it. It's a little bit of a pain. Once we do find it, I suggest that you put a shortcut to it on your desktop. So, we're going to go into my computer, C drive, this is a typical installation of where Minecraft goes. Users, this is going to be your computer's name, mine happens to be Papa. You want to open that, and from here, you need to go into your app data folder, but it's not listed here, it's hidden. So we're going to go in the address bar up here and just click so that we can type in there. We're going to go backslash app app data d a t a and hit enter. And now we're going to open roaming and there is your dot minecraft folder. From here I would suggest you right click and come down to create shortcut and then you can take this shortcut and just drag it onto your desktop I'm getting this because I already have done this but this way you don't have to go through this whole process to find your dot minecraft folder again so now that we have our dot minecraft folder what we're gonna do is um, put the mods into Minecraft. So we open the Minecraft folder. The thing we downloaded and installed earlier, Forge, created this mods folder. So we're just going to open that up. And I've already got them in here. But you'll want to go to where you downloaded the three files, the McDoodle Core, the Galacticraft core and the Galacticraft planets and just copy all three of those right into your Minecraft mods folder. I'm going to go ahead and undo this because I already have them in there. And then you can close your dot minecraft folder. That was this step. So we're almost there. You're going to open up minecraft. The minecraft loader. And once it comes up, we're going to change our profile. So down here in the bottom left, profile, um, you can click on it and select Forge. If you don't have Forge as an option here, you can click New Profile, name it Forge up here, and this is where you want to choose your Minecraft version. So it's probably set to 1.8, which is the latest Minecraft version. What you want to do is not select the 1.7.10. Instead, go all the way to the bottom and select the release 1.7.10 with Forge. You should only have one here. I've installed it twice, so that's why I've got two. So select the release with Forge and save profile. Now you can just click play and as Minecraft loads uh, you're going to have some more options. Just waiting for it to load here.
Okay, so now we have a button that says mods. We'll go in there and we'll look really quick. Uh, this Minecraft coder pack is actually uh, from Mojang Minecraft. Uh, this is the forge mod loader that we put in. Um, this is the McDoodle 8 core and the Galacticraft core and the Galacticraft planets. Uh, there's all kinds of technical configurations, but um, for now we're just going to leave that. Done. We can go into single player. Uh, you can create a new world. I've already got several going here. And we'll go in and make sure everything's working. Excellent. So what we have is a whole lot of extra stuff. Lots of extra blocks, lots of extra armor. There's different types of ore, different types of metals, uh, compressing metals, there's electricity, oxygen, all kinds of stuff. So if you see all this stuff in here, then you've installed it correctly and you should be good to go. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel.